Hello viewers, welcome back to Dexter's Lab 2013. Uh, we have a short teardown and repair video. Uh, this is my, well, one of my old um, DeWalt drills. Um, I've had this for quite a long time. It's a DC725. It's just 19 volt uh, nickel cadmium battery one. It dates from about 2010. So uh, it's done a fair amount of work, but it is slowly started being a bit of a problem. So hopefully I should be able to demonstrate what the issue is. If I, uh, if you just uh, watch in here where the motor is when I run it, oh, those pixels are getting angry in there and uh, the drill doesn't do much chooching. So I think what has happened, um, either the brushes are completely worn out and, oh God, there's smoke coming out of there. Um, either the brushes are completely worn out or it is just really gummed up with lots of, uh, lots of crap which gets sucked in there when you're using it, especially if you're drilling upside down into something it sucks in all the crap gets mixed in with all the graphite dust and um, generally it causes a big problem um, and of course doing that it's going to burn out your commutator really really quick so uh, let's take this apart and um, see if it can be cleaned up and fixed so we've just got a number of uh, t10 torque screws so we'll just uh, have these out take a quick look around this we've got uh, the switch speed controller it's obviously all built into one complete thing um, with the reversing uh, switch which is actually part of the speed controller as well the battery just plugs in the bottom there with these uh, terminals um, up at the top we have the gearbox and the um, speed change and the motor and the end of the commutator with the brushes and everything on we take a closer look at that. You can see in there, it looks really rather grimy and dusty and really not very good at all. That, uh, there's loads of graphite dust um, on the brushes there. The commutator looks pretty not in great condition. So I think what we'll do is remove this part of the motor out and uh, give it a good clean up and Put it back together and hopefully we can cure this. Now usually what happens on these is the uh, the brushes and the carbon and graphite all get mixed in, gunged up around here and when you put the full power through this it creates a huge great big arc and then just uh, burns out all the, uh, the commutator and stuff so it's really not good at all so uh, best to keep this nice and clean. Um, it doesn't need to be oiled or anything that's what the graphite is for. It basically acts as a lubricant. So this uh, small clip here was just holding in the bearing on the end of the motor. So hopefully we can lift all this out. So yeah, you can see in here there's a massive buildup of, of just crap everywhere all this blackness in here that's all off the brushes so I'm not surprised this is not happy at all so I think what I'll do I'll just remove this it's on two uh, spade connectors so that can be removed I can take this out and give that a good clean up and then we'll look at uh, cleaning up the armature as well Right, that's the brushes all cleaned up, looking a lot better. Right, uh, let's see what we can do with the uh, commutator. I'm just going to try and get the worst off with a tissue. I don't really want to spray a load of solvent on this because there is a bearing on here and that doesn't come off. So um, if I spray solvent all over this, it'll just end up washing out any lubricant that's left in the the bearing, so I'd rather not do that. So what I'm going to do now is just clean out all the gaps here, 
just to make sure that there's no crap left in them. Right, so last bit to do is just to give it a quick uh, clean up with uh, a bit of 1200 grit uh, paper. I've actually soaked this in uh, PCB cleaner. It seems to work quite well. Um, so I'm just going to run around this, clean it up as much as I can. Right, I think that's about as good as I'm really going to get it without uh, hacking away at it some more. So uh, we'll leave that as it is, and we'll now clean out the uh, the plastics because they are full of grunge. Right, let's start putting this back together. Should be out there. Ah, one important thing missing. Right, we'll give it a quick test. Um, I should just be able to run it just by holding the motor in place, hopefully. Yep, that works fine. Right, just give this one test now. She's chooching good and there's no angry pixies in there. The job, as they say, is a good one. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.